Hi, I'm Nadi Ansari, and in this video, I'm going to talk about limitation on controls in Control Rig. So, what is cool about Control Rig that you can uh, give it some limitations so you don't make any mistake when you are creating your animation or you're changing an animation and customizing an animation. So, without any further ado, let's begin. So, in here, let's just go to Mannequin. If you just create a project from um, the third person template in Unreal Engine, it will come with a control rig. So if you go to rigs, you can see there is a rig in here. If you double click on it, you can open it. And in here, you can see the rigs. For example, in here, you can see with this, we can rotate the head, right? But it can go backward, right? And we don't want that. So at the default, the control rig for the mannequin doesn't have that, but we can make it happen so for giving it those limitations so for example don't go don't look backward you can select on the control for the head for example and go to details panel and in details panel first of all there is a name there is display name those doesn't matter but the control type right now this is euler transform and with this you can limit the amount that it can rotate so for example if you grab this and make it a little bit bigger you can see the minimum and maximum so if you go to initialize it will be the initialized value that when you compile it will go to that initialized value but if you go to current it will show you the current rotation so for example in here when we go it says minus 90 degree right now and again if you go that way it says 90 degree so we don't want 90 degree but we want something like 70 degree because I can't, uh, so 90 degree I think will be okay. Now we can see the values that we want to put in here. So for example, for the minimum in rotation, I want to limit the movement for the rotation. And for the minimum, I want to say minus 90, for example. And in the max, I want to do the same. So I enable all of these and I want to say 90. And when we compile and save, no, if you want to rotate overhead, you can see it can't go more than 90 degree. So this is the first limitation that you can make. So nothing break, right? So the next thing is the type of the control. So for example, I want to click on the root, for example, or let me find it in here, global control, it's called in here. And with that, we can change the position of the body. And in here, right now, because we don't want to use this, we want to just use it, for example, to go to right and left, we can just use the ELR transform. And again, for example, we want it to be uh, the maximum value be here and minimum value be here. For example, 35, 35, right? So again, in here for the location, we can make that happen for minimum and, and maximum. But if you want it to be easier, you can change this LR transform in here, for example, to vector 2D, okay? And now you can see this uh, yellow box in here. And what it means, it means it can go up on this, it can go here, and it, can, it can't go out of this yellow um, square in here, right? So again, let's just click on it and go to um, details panel. Again, this is vector 2D. The primary axis, I want to use Z, so it can you can see it is on the ground and now if i go to minimum what i want to do i want to for example say minus 50 and 50 in here or both of them so we want to move around 50 unit and now you can see this yellow yellow square so if you want to change this position we can't go out of this yellow um, a square and if you want to go up we can't do it so we make some uh, limitations so we can't make any mistake and like we did it like this we can change it to whatever type that we want so for example if we want to again do it uh, so it can um, jump again we can go to elr transform and in here in minimum and maximum for the location i can select all of them and for example say minus 50 for all the minimum like this like this and again enable all the max values and 50 and 50 and 50 as well now you can see these um, yellow box we can jump right like this but we can't go out of this uh, value so the minimum it should be zero for the z because we don't want to go to the in the ground under the ground right so no we can go up 50 units but we can't go inside the earth and we can't go outside of this 50 unit of course you can do whatever you want but these limitations is a lot important you can limit the rotation you can limit the 
movement of a control so you don't make any mistake when you are creating your animation or you're you are customizing the animation that was it for this video guys i hope you like it please 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 if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye <laughs>